Hey guys, Ash here from CuspForward.com and welcome to episode 14 of Android Tips on CuspForward TV. One of the best things about Android is that no matter what device you have, whether it's an HTC with Sense or a Samsung with TouchWiz, you get the ability to replace your home screens, the whole look and feel of your phone. So we use some things called launchers to do this. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the best launchers that Android has to offer. So enough of the blah blah blah, let's get started and uh, just keep in mind if you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. So guys, the first launcher on the list is TSF Shell. This is a paid launcher but it, ha it has some amazing features. So let me just show you. This is the app draw that you get with TSF Shell and uh, these are your home screens. What I like about this launcher is uh, it is a little bit different from every other launcher out there in uh, the Play Store. As in regards with, let me show you. Say you have an icon over here. You can just turn it around. You can even stack icons over each other. And you get some uh, nice little uh, widget as well. So these are all widgets that you get. That's the weather widget there. And this launcher also does something uh, nice with folders. So this is a folder that I have. And uh, you can just open the folder app to see the apps inside. But uh, if you don't want to do it the regular way, you can just take the apps out. And you can just open up any app you want. And you can just do it uh, anyway. Just tapping this puts everything back into the folder. Again. So tapping this little thing over here opens up a bar from the left. So you can uh, you can add uh, a me a memo or mu a music widget like this, or your weather widget, or an album widget, or con a contact widget. These are the TSF uh, uh, widgets. And then this is another another option over here. Again, a few more widgets like this is for animation. You can add a cloud. You can add clouds, even a ghost, a pumpkin, and that's the airship. You can you can add uh, any picture you want to it. So this is the pendant, and then you've got settings. So uh, this is the DSF settings. You've got a lot of options here as well. So on the desktop, you've got. Uh, the drawer as the main desktop you can select set the uh, grid size or you can set it for uh, automatic so this is how it works so let me put it as a 3 by 2 grid so there you see it's uh, a 3 by 2 grid now for the app drawer it's uh, of going into settings again let's make it to auto grid that's an 8 by 5 uh, you can change the background transparency there as well you've got some desktop tools uh, desktop tools with the extra menu button switching transparency and this is for the orientation and you've got a lot of options here you can also add some gestures like uh, okay uh, we'll get to uh, the lasso mode in a bit you can uh, set uh, gestures like uh, like swipe up so okay let's select swipe up as the app draw so now what happens is say I'm somewhere else I just swipe up I'm back to the uh, app draw and then back up and restore so once you've done uh, once you've done playing around if you found something that works for you you can just go ahead back it up and at a later po later point if you uh, re reset your phone or do a factory wipe for any reason you can just restore it from your SD card and you can also reset DSF shell to uh, defaults if you've uh, if you just want to do that you also have options to choose themes. Uh, there is one theme that comes uh, comes with it. Uh, you can also get other themes. You can find a lot of themes on Google Play as well. Uh, some of them are paid, uh, whereas you can get a few uh, free as well. So this is the Blue Night theme, just to show you. So now I've got the Night Blue theme. I'm applying it. So that's the Night Blue theme here. It's pretty sweet. So another thing that I like about this is, let's just quickly go to the app draw. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's take uh, Google and add it to this home screen. Okay, 
so right now tapping and holding it you get a lot of options from here you can select this and this will let you change the icons and if you if you want to choose an a uh, choose a photo as an icon you can you can do that as well so say for example i'm just gonna choose some photo that i have some random pick hit done now that becomes my icon you also have the options you get an icon pack and you can make choices from the icon pack so this is google i can go back to the default and you can rename the icon as well from here and you can even quickly uninstall stuff right from here so that's it uh guys uh, just tapping and holding on the screen again gives you a few options again the widgets uh you get a scrollable list of uh, widgets so you can select it from here or you can select shortcuts as well applications wallpapers jump into preferences that's the tsf uh, shell options guys another thing i like about it is you can uh, handle the density settings right from tsf shell so uh, what lcd density is is it changes the size of the icons so i can make them as small as this if i want to so now as you can see everything is a lot smaller and this this helps a lot especially when you use it on tablets and again just going in so that's my app draw all my apps don't even take a quarter of a page so or you can make it bigger as well so going back into uh, LCD density so there you see you can make it as big as this if you want to let's say we want to add some apps to this home screen so just tap the three dots over here hit plus and now if you get um, you get the apps over here with a green color box uh, you can just tap and add whatever you want and what I like here is that once you add an app it gets removed from the list below so this means you will not end up I end up adding the same app twice and again uh, just notice how the notification the number of uh, unread notifications pop up right now once we install the notifications so let me quickly add a few I also like the way uh, there is no preset number of rows or columns here uh, as per the number you add it keeps changing so enough that we've added a few let's just hit this and leave it so as you can see all these are now on this home screen so uh, guys uh, if you want to create a folder just double tap and that opens up uh, lasso mode so or you can also select lasso mode from here so with this now you can just round up all the apps you want and hit create folder so now all these are in a folder so you can just drag them out select what you want and then and then put them back in uh, you also have a lot of toggles over here as in wi-fi bluetooth airplane mode ringer and so on it's been almost nine minutes and we've just barely scratched the surface on what the tsf shell can do so if you guys like it go ahead get it from the play store the direct link is in the description so the next launcher on the list is launcher rate so as you can see what it does is it it, it imitates the uh windows phone 8 interface so to show you guys how good this actually is let me pull up my lumia 920 so that's the lumia 920 running windows 8 just turning off both phones and you can see even the lock screens are similar even the status bar on top is similar so guys the launcher it comes with a lot of options so just hitting the menu button and going into theme you get a lot of options here so first you've got tile theme so you can e you can even choose custom colors here you've got a lot of options to choose from we are currently leaving it at yellow uh, you've got tile alpha so this is with regards to how, how, uh, how, how transparent the background is or the foreground is or the text is and so on. And then you've got the tile padding. So right now it's at 10 points. So say let's move to 12, 16. So as you can see, uh, the space in between increases. Then uh, you can you have the option to show text on one, one is to one, I mean one into one tiles. So like the small ones have text displayed. Uh, the background color, you can change it to a wallpaper. So if you want to mix off Windows and Android, so 
just changing it to wallpaper now means uh, despite having a windows like interface you still get a wallpaper behind so again guys just like with TSF shell you can save uh, once you have a certain uh, uh, home screen setup you can save it here and save the theme here and you can load it again uh, at a later point uh, with the status bar you've got your windows phone 8 kind of status bar you've got the normal system status bar or you can hide everything all together uh, you can add other lifestyle settings uh, like the menu tile or the time tile uh, live contacts so that uh, the contact icons keep refreshing the gallery uh, and so on you also get a uh, settings theme so the uh, the other option here just changes the settings theme the look or you can stick to Windows uh, Windows Phone 8 style settings and then you've got the lock screen settings and then you've got the app list so you've got multiple ways of displaying the apps and uh, again you can follow theme color and so on a lot of features here guys including uh, app filters to hide certain apps so right now going to the right here you get the Windows uh, Win Windows Phone 8 style of uh, apps being listed so yeah this kind of gives you the illusion of having uh, Windows 8 on your phone but then again you just go ahead open up the dialer you're back to your familiar touch -based interface the Android uh, interface that the Galaxy S3 ships with or whatever interface that your phone has but over here you get an extra option just tap and hold yeah you get your general uh, resizing the tiles uh, and you get an edit option here so with this you can change the color of individual tiles so you can make this one tile alone look green you can set the tile size and you have something called bind application so over here by default it's bound to the phone app you can change it say I have the Windows 7 dialer a free app that I downloaded from the Play Store Windows Phone 7 dialer so let me select that and you can also set the notification so in case you get a missed calls or something it will show up so now if I tap this it takes me to the Windows Phone dialer so again you got a lot of apps that can simulate Windows uh, Windows 8 in the Play Store so say you get a music app that simulates Windows Phone 8 you can again bind it to this uh, tile so that you get a richer Windows uh, kind of experience so that's what I really like about this launcher that's uh, launcher rate for you so guys the next launcher on the list is Nova Launcher so uh, what I like about the Nova Launcher the moment I open it up is that it comes with an import from another launcher option or rest of uh, previous Nova backup. So right now I've been using TouchWiz on this phone uh, mostly. So I can just hit this and I can import stuff from TouchWiz. All right. So if you have root, it's fine. If you don't have root, you can still import it. Let's quickly go into settings. That's Nova settings. So under desktop, you can change the desktop grid that is how many rows and columns are displayed uh, you can make it as much as you want so uh, let's leave it at 5 by 4 uh, the width margin on the left and right height margin the persistent search bar if you want you can uh, set it so let me put it as always and you can also select the Google search bar style that's the ICS and Jelly Bean versions and then showing shadow uh, you've got home screens to see uh, all your home screens you can add more if you want you can add up to nine home screens and you can just swap between them just tap and hold and move them around or just delete them so that's the home screens going back into Nova settings uh, again the dock is scrollable as in you can have more than just five uh, icons over here just scroll through and add more so say for example I wanted to add gallery to the dock there you go this is my normal dock swipe to the left and I get gallery and uh, pull one put it over the other easy creation of folders and you can also save your settings backup and restore and uh, you have the folders option so the folder preview as a stack or a grid or as a fan so you can select from these options uh, the background can be a circle square platform desk you can even select a custom background I mean custom background so again the tra uh, background transparency for the window as far as look and feel go you can change the color theme so let's change it to yellow okay going back 
Once you change the color theme, little things like uh, the bar over here turns yellow. Uh, and then you can also rename fo folders easily by just tapping over here and entering any name you want. And the color over there uh, also corresponds to, uh, to the color you select on your theme. Screen orientation, the scroll speed, uh, the animation speed. Animation speed is like when you open up the app drawer, how fast it opens up. You see a little uh, transition there. Like uh, you saw it right now when it just uh, kind of went off like this that's the animation theme there I mean the animation speed you can change that from Nova settings as well and similarly the app animation that is when you open an app you kind of see it popping out that uh, you can change that speed as well you can also hide the notification bar completely if you don't want it there you see Nova settings and you can even hide the dock if you don't want it so uh, you can also select an infinite scroll for the uh, for both the dock as well as the desktop So what infinite scroll does is now you can just keep scrolling through the dock once you're done but once you're gone past the third one you come back to the first one similarly with uh, The desktop as well and of going into the app draw You got you've got uh, by default you get a 5 by 4 grid you can change that again from the settings and you get the widgets as well Tapping and holding an icon, uh, you can edit it. So you can change the sh change the icon. You can get an icon icon pack. The ADW and Go Launcher icon packs will work here. Or you can also get your own icon from the gallery. You can also rename uh, the shortcut. Again, tapping and holding here, you also get uh, Nova actions. So uh, you can select from a bunch of Nova Nova actions like show previews. Uh, so now you can select it and uh, add show previews to the dock. So now hitting it will show you the previews of all your home screens. You also have the option to resize all widgets, even if they are in design to be resized, you can force it to be resi resized and then you can allow widget overlap. And you can also uh, allow overlap of de desktop items. I'll get to that in a second, guys. Uh, as far as lock desktop goes, again, similar to the pre uh, previous launchers that we saw, Locking the desktop means uh, you won't be allowed to make any changes, which means you cannot, uh, uh, you know, delete anything in error. So let's talk a little bit about widget overlap. So say, for example, some widgets like the clock widget, I'm not going to actually tap it and do anything. Uh, so I might add a different widget. Say, for example, uh, let's say my music player. All right, and I might want to place the music player player over it and pull it down. So now you can see that I still uh, I can still check the time, but uh, my clock widget isn't really taking a lot of space. I, I can uh, still look at the tra uh, tracks that's playing on my music widget. At the same time, I can still use my clock widget as well. So overlapping widgets definitely becomes an added plus when it comes to tweaking your phone and getting that extra level of customization. Now, apart, apart from this, going into Nova settings, uh, you also get a transition, uh, a scroll effect. So with the free version, you just get three options, none, cube, and uh, card stack. If I'm not mistaken, the uh, Nova Prime should give you a lot more options. So uh, the card stack, this is the card stack. And you just saw the cube, uh, just going into Nova settings, desktop scroll effect cube and you can also set the wallpaper whether you want to do a uh, scroll or not uh, that's just it so you turn off scroll the wallpaper is going to remain stationary and there you see a cubic transition when you uh, move between home screens so that's Nova launcher for you guys uh, it's available from the play store and the direct link is there in the description so that's all the time we have for this episode. We will be taking a look at a lot more launches uh, in coming episodes. So make sure you stay, you stay subscribed. And before you go, make sure you hit the like button. Because every time you hit like or subscribe, it, incre it increases the odds of YouTube suggesting this video to others. So go ahead, help me out, hit the like and subscribe buttons. So hope you like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any video requests for me, uh, or if you just want to stay updated on my latest updates and videos, you can hit me up on uh, Facebook, Twitter or Google+. All my contact details are in the description. So that's pretty much it for episode 14 of Android Tips. 
I'll see you in the next video. Till then, it's Ashio from CursForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.